Tropical storm Eta continues to pose huge problems across parts of Central America as it moves inland. The 28th named storm for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season is there positioned around the border around Nicaragua as well as for Honduras and it is a slowly moving and that's a problem because of the rainfall amounts. We're still seeing totals over 100 millimeters recorded in parts of Honduras and also we've been seeing some instability as well, well away from the center out towards the Cayman Islands. So they've seen 100 millimeters total over the last 24 hours as well as parts of uh, Jamaica and there's an uh, old frontal system just towards the north of uh, Cuba and the outflow from uh, Eta is causing all of that instability around the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. And that will likely linger over the next uh, few days. Also, we haven't seen uh, the end of Eta, even though it moves inland. It is set to recurve and possibly emerge over the northwestern Caribbean Sea, and it could well regain its uh, tropical storm strength as it heads over some warm waters here. 30 degrees Celsius in uh, places could see it begin to track towards the northeast and then eventually towards the north. So even parts of Florida and the Florida and the southern United States, they'll be watching the progress of a, possibly a rejuvenated Eta over the next a few days. So that's your forecast.